Hello, hello YouTube. <laughs> I feel delirious. I am so sick right now. So I thought I would vlog, like vlog a sick day. Is this, I don't even know if this is gonna make it to the interwebs, but here we are. I wanted to start doing, I don't know if I wanted to start doing more vlogs, but I do wanna start doing different kinds of content on my channel and I thought, what better day than a sick day? <laughs> Just for the record, I haven't even taken cold medicine yet because yeah, I just I just know it's gonna make me super loopy, but I already am, so uh, why not? And I, I just went out and ran some errands and I'm freezing, I think I have a fever. I'm freezing, so I'm just gonna leave my sweater and my coat on, but I figured I'd take you along for my day today. Do you wanna say hi to Miss Butters? Miss Butters, do you wanna say hi to everyone? Do you wanna say hi to everyone? By the way, she is sleeping on my, the comfy. Have you guys seen this? Stephanie Marie here on YouTube turned me on to this. Well, when she's awake, I will show this to you guys. It's basically like a gigantic hoodie. And it's, it's like fleece line. <laughs> it's so huge and it's so warm that, hi baby, that um, I actually can't wear it unless I'm like freezing. It's it's perfect today. In fact, you'll probably see me in it later on. So I was trying to figure out what I could um, film today. And um, I just, I couldn't put any makeup on. I don't know if you guys can see. But right here, I don't know if you guys can see. It's almost like a little bruise. And I must have done it like while I was sleeping last night because I woke up and I was like, what the hell is that? And then I think I have, and this always happens when I'm not feeling well, but like my skin goes crazy. But I think I have some eczema here. Anyway, we're doing like a no makeup day. So I'm basically making myself an Americano. So I use this uh, germ machine. That's the brand. And I make myself a shot of espresso. And then I come over to my water boiler here. It's a Zoji Rushi, the best Japanese brand. Um, and then I add some water to it. So I make myself an Americano and then I use a bit of almond milk and there's only certain types of almond milk I can drink. It has to be a milk with no, no gums, um, no carrageenans. And that's what most almond milks and coconut milks and soy milks what they have it's like a thickener but it really upsets my stomach so this is only uh, water almonds and salt um, and it's you know because it doesn't have the thickener in there it is a little bit gritty but it doesn't bother my stomach so I can only find this at Whole Foods unfortunately so I have to go and get a bunch every time I go my house is a total disaster mainly because I haven't been feeling well. So there's like boxes piled up. It's just crazy. But I thought I would show you this ridiculous packaging. Let's let's share and commiserate in this. So first of all, I don't know if you guys remember, but over the holidays, um, Shantakai, they came out with that um, highlighter and they also came out with that, that gel to powder um, powder. <laughs> and um, they also came out with some of those crystal lipsticks and for some reason those were like back ordered they just they didn't arrive in stores at the same time as the two compacts so anyway i placed a back order on Saks Fifth avenue i don't know back in november it just arrived so i just got this lipstick from back then and i'm going to show you the box that it came in are you ready this is the box that this lipstick came in. I mean, what? What? Like, why? What? Just stick this in a freaking bubble mailer. Like, what? <sighs> I am pursing my lips so hard right now at Saks Fifth Avenue's shipping department. That is so ridiculous. I mean, there's... It, Okay, whatever. You guys saw it. I'm sure you're all in agreement. It's dumb. All right, I had to put my robe on and get comfy. Oh, I haven't felt this crappy in a long time. Miss Butters, what are you barking at? There's like phantom noises outside and she's just rough. She's just pissed. 
Are they disturbing your slumber? Hmm? What is that pounding? <laughs> wow. Well, I've never filmed like this before. I'm standing, I'm in my kitchen, I'm vlogging. Um, I don't know how vloggers do this. It's actually not easy at all. Like the lighting in here sucks and like, anyway, I'm sure it gets easier with uh, practice, but <coughs> this is awkward. This is awkward. Anyway, I just went to the UPS store and picked up a bunch of boxes from my PO box and I thought I would share them with you. Um, I would usually kind of save them all for video, but since we're here and since they're all here, so like what I do when I pick up boxes from the UPS store, I bring them all in and I just dump them on the kitchen counter or the kitchen table or they just go back and forth <laughs> until I'm ready to like film and bring them upstairs because my room, as you guys know, is a complete disaster. Um, so instead of just my room being a disaster, the kitchen area is a disaster on top of my room. So anyway, they're all down here and I thought I would show it to you. Oh, let me show you that shot to Kai lipstick actually. I am um, not sure if I'm gonna keep this. This is the color Rose Quartz. So they only had three colors that they um, came out with with this holiday collection. And you know, I just feel like I'm over it <laughs> at this point. It just took too long to get to me. Let's take a look. Here is, oh my God, <laughs> packaging. And it's magnetic, which is really nice. And here's the lipstick. It is really pretty. Do I wanna keep it? You know, I got one, I think I showed it to you guys. I got a different color that wasn't quite as back ordered as this particular color. And I returned it because, you know, I wasn't the biggest fan of the color, but it was all like, screwed up on the outside of the bullet. And this one is kind of too, I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably barely, but like right there, it looks like someone like went like this to it. It's just, it's just weird. I don't know, you guys let me know <laughs> if I should keep this or not. So that's the Chantecai Lip Crystal in Rose Quartz. And I do think they're all three of the colors are like now in stock everywhere. And then PYT sent me some stuff. This is like a clean beauty brand. I had seen this brand on Credo Beauty, that clean beauty online store. They actually even have a boutique in New York City and probably some other places. Um, but I saw this brand there and they reached out to me and I was like, oh, wow, yeah, I would love to uh, take a look at your stuff. I do feel like these clean beauty brands, um, the, the like quality of the makeup is getting better. I remember trying it like years ago and they just didn't have the pigmentation, they didn't have the longevity or the blendability. Like they just, they weren't there yet and I feel like they're getting there. So if I can get this box open. Okay, so here is the packaging and then the name of it is the Heartbeat Cheek Color and then I believe the color name is Exhale. It says no BS. <laughs> I think it's a matte blush, which is not always my favorite. I can't tell on this crappy lighting what <laughs> what the finish is. Ooh, pretty. This color is Hustle. There's Hustle. The pigmentation is nice. They also sent over mascara, which I won't open at the moment. And this highlighter is in the shade Backstage Pass. There's the highlighter. This looks pretty subtle. This could be a nice like everyday highlight. Again, sorry for the crappy lighting. What else did they send? Oh, they sent over, what is this? Beauty without the BS. OBS stands for bad stuff, by the way. Um, This is a day to night, ooh, eyeshadow palette. All right. So here is the eyeshadow palette. It's pretty big. Oh, fun. Ooh, ooh, now that has potential. So these are like base colors. That's a great transition color. Let's do a couple swatches. Let's do a, a matte and a shimmer. So these two, sorry, this still has the highlighter on there. So here's a matte, here's a shimmer. Nice, okay. That pigmentation is very promising. Wow, not bad. And then they sent over a bunch of their lip duos. Uh, let's see. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. And, oh, here's the matte lipstick. Okay, there's the color, the icon color. This rolls up, but it doesn't roll all the way down kind of bugs me because you have to be really careful when you place the cap back on. Here is the lip gloss. So there's the icon lip gloss and then the, 
the lipstick. So if you guys are interested, maybe in like a video just kind of dedicated to this PYT beauty, let me know. I know a lot of you out there are interested in clean beauty. So yeah, let me know. I had to run upstairs and get some wipes. I did not have any down here. And then I got this lovely package from By Terry. Let's see what's in here. Here's the card that was inside. So it's the terribly Paris or Paris, get the Parisian look. Oh, cool. I had seen that they released some new eyeshadow palettes, um, and it looks like they kind of added some fun packaging to their um, hyaluronic powder and, ooh, and their dual expert mascara, which I really like. Oh, awesome. So they sent over one of the eye palettes and the mascara. So here is that packaging. This is like a gold plate on top of this uh, compact. It's really nice. It has a nice weight to it. And oh, you know, these look like little chocolates, don't they? How pretty. Now I have to admit, full disclosure, I have not always had the best luck with By Terry eyeshadows. They sometimes can be a little, I don't know, powdery and you know, not as pigmented as I would like, but I do, I always have high hopes for their products because I do like the majority of them. It's so cute though. Look at all of those like, fun imprints on there. I love this like little cafe duo chair situation there. The Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower. Oh, I love it. You know, I've never been to Paris. Dying to go, dying to go. I think that's gonna be my next big trip. Well, thank you so much by Terry for sending this over. I can't wait. I think I'll do a video on this. I think, I think you guys would be really interested in seeing how this eyeshadow palette performs. Oh my God, you guys are not gonna believe this next box. So it's from Chanel. Chanel wishes you a happy holiday season and beautiful new year. This is how much makeup I order from them. I think this is just like a thank you present from them. <laughs> so this sleeve comes off of this box. And oh, look, it's a Chanel box. Cece's at the top. And this is really heavy. Oh my God. Oh my God. So this flips up. It's a snow globe. What? Oh, how awesome. It's a little Chanel snow globe. Oh my God, I'm dying. This is so cute. Can you guys see what's in the globe there? Just like a bunch of Chanel packs and boxes. The big CCs. You can see the backs of everything there. Oh my God, I love this. And I love snow globes. This is so awesome. Well, thank you, Chanel. Thank you for this extra special gift. This is really, really sweet. All right, those are all the packages I have gotten. I should probably try and get on with my day. I don't know, I'm gonna take some cold medicine and try and get my act together. Maybe I'll try some editing. I do have a video I could edit. All right, I'm in my comfy recliner. My God, perfect timing to start editing because I'm losing my voice, yay! You guys, I resisted the recliner life for so long. Well, mainly because I couldn't fit these huge chairs in my New York City apartment. But now, can't go back. All right, I am done editing that video and now I'm really tired <laughs> and really hungry. So I think I'm gonna make some lunch and then I may nap. Oh, my nose is getting like stuffier and stuffier. Oh. All right, so my husband and I do Freshly, which has been such a lifesaver because they send you basically these awesome meals that all you have to do is microwave and they're actually quite delicious so this is the steak peppercorn and let's see 
they're not like keto or paleo or anything, but for convenience, it's just awesome. So 490 calories. Uh, let's see, 27 fat, 34 carb, 29 protein. They're the microwave instructions. So it's just super, super simple and perfect for these lazy days. Okay, while I'm waiting for my meal to finish, I'm actually gonna put a little like lip balm onto my nose. I've been blowing it a lot and it's so raw right now. Do you guys use anything to put around your nose when you're blowing it a lot? I just feel like sometimes I go a little overboard and I end up, <laughs> I end up getting all these clogged pores around my nostrils and then that always turns ugly. But I have used this Emil Cordon a couple of times and it's been okay, like I haven't had that problem. And it's also one of my favorite lip balms, so very, very handy. There she is, <laughs> my beautiful lunch. Ah, oh, I know you guys are jealous right now. I also stand at my kitchen counter and eat, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll be right back. So I am gonna go down for a nap. I am just really tired. I got really, really exhausted after editing and then eating lunch and just kind of like poking around. And I thought, oh my God, like my face has started to like hurt, you know, from like the sinus pressure. Hey baby. And um, yeah, so anyway, I am going to lay down for a nap and I'll be back in a few. So I couldn't really nap, sorry. <clears throat> can't really talk that much. So I decided to come into my beauty room and clean out a little bit. So I clean out my lipsticks and my lip glosses. Let me show you guys what I did. Here is my lipstick drawer now. Looking pretty good. And uh, let me just show you a quick photo of what the drawer looked like before. It was just mayhem in here. I had like piles of lipstick on top of all the ones that were actually in this organizer. This organizer, by the way, is from Sunny Cosmetics. And yeah, and it's great. It's great if you have these um, Ikea Alex drawers. So that's my lipstick drawer, my main lipstick drawer. And then here is like mainly my lip glosses, but some like lip sticks, like these things from Sicily. And this was another drawer that was a complete an utter mess and yeah i'm feeling so much better about this let me show you another quick still of this drawer before like i just had them piled and they have were becoming like really really disorganized um and this organizer is also from sunny cosmetics but it's their foundation organizer you can actually see some like empty squares down there. So it's great for foundation bottles, but I just like it for um, lip glosses because you can usually fit like four or six of them in here and it just, just works out really nicely. So what I did with a lot of the lipsticks that I had um, like kind of sitting on top of that other lipstick drawer, I basically put up here, this is yet another Sunny Cosmetics organizer. This is more for like, uh, pencils and brushes and things, but it actually fits like lipsticks this way and it's actually working out really nicely. I don't know if this is like my ideal way of organizing lipsticks at the moment, but yeah, I'm liking it. It's better than all of these kind of sitting on top of that other lipstick drawer down there. So these are my newly organized lipstick drawers. And these are all the lipsticks I am getting rid of. I am actually throwing all of these away because they are all very, very old or just not good. <laughs> just not good. Um, so yeah, it's unfortunate, but yeah, they gotta go. They're old. So that is what I've been doing. And apologies, I would have normally kind of walked you through all of the decluttering, but I just wanted to do it. There was not much else I could do in this state, and I really just couldn't do that much talking like 
I can already tell like my throat is kind of on fire and I'm starting to lose my voice again. So anyway, um, that is it for today. I'm just gonna cut it off here. I'm really, really tired. So I think I'm just going to get back into bed <laughs> and hopefully my husband will just bring me some dinner in bed. Well, I hope you guys liked um, this vlog. This is, I think my very first vlog. I did the Miss Butters one um, over Mishmas, but yeah, I think this is the very first vlog for me. I don't find them very easy to do at all. I don't know how people vlog all the time, every day, like those daily vloggers. I think that's crazy. Uh, so anyway, let me know your thoughts. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!